Hey Shoe Crew, I have another exciting review for you today. This is from a company called ZZ Heels. I will have them linked in the description. They reached out to me recently and sent me some gorgeous heels. So I got two pairs of heels to review for you today, starting with this beautiful pair of deep red. I would maybe call this color Oxblood. This deep red with like um, a crocodile material. Nice high heel. These are single sole heels. Super comfortable. And these ones fit like an absolute glove too. So this is the other pair, you guys. This really beautiful ombre from blue to black with blue stitching, a blue peep toe. Um, and this has a small platform, probably about an inch. Um, and I think that the boots are a five inch heel. Um, and then these are probably four and a half with the platform. These are super cute as well. I love the ankle strap. So for pair one, I'm gonna try on these boots. And they take a little bit of getting used to right off the bat, just because it is quite a substantial heel, as you can see, um, but they look so good. And they look totally different for in the dark versus the light. Um, they're really nice and shiny as well. And they just have this beautiful beige sole that sort of pops against that color. So this company reached out to me about a month or two ago and they asked me to pick a couple pairs of heels from their website and this pair I chose pretty much immediately. Um, I thought that they were gorgeous looking. They have this really nice hardware on them as well. I'm a total sucker for hardware. And they just, they really straddle that line between being too sexy and just being sort of unexpected in public, if you know what I mean. Just a beautiful walk on these. The heel was really sturdy, which I was impressed by. Um, these heels go for close to the $100 mark on the ZZ Heels website. So I felt super lucky that I got these sent to me. And um, yeah, this color, you guys. Beautiful. And you can see I was totally obsessed with these heels. I have a ton of footage with them. They look good at all angles. I was just trying to get a good show of the color for you. They really are this deep maroon, oxblood, burgundy, berry color. Now check out the hardware on these boots. I know I mentioned it a little bit earlier, but it actually totally works. I'm just gonna pull a boot off here and show you guys basically the angle of my foot when I'm wearing these boots, because that's something I don't really show off a lot. So as you can see there, my foot is totally hidden at that angle. So it's some, um, you know, pretty tippy toes. It like maybe not that extreme. I do adjust my um, stance a little bit here. I realize um, that might be a little bit too extreme, but yeah, you're pretty much looking at that. You're gonna hold that position while you're in these heels. So that's why it's important to practice. Um, get your ankles nice and strong. These heels are not for beginners. These ones, however, are definitely a more potential beginner kind of heel. Um, you have that little platform there which really stabilizes your foot and takes some of the pressure off the balls of your feet. And these have these really cute ankle straps which really hold the heel on there nice. Um, and they have this really cute peep toe. And I did my nails in a lilac purple for kind of like the Easter season. So let me know if you think that combination goes together. I thought it was pretty cute. 
These cutouts on the side there are really cool as well. And of course, the ombre. You, know, you definitely don't see that every day. You know, you kind of guarantee that these will go with an outfit that's blue or black. These ones as well, really sturdy to walk in, not wobbly. Um, the first time I put them on, I did have to wear them a little bit um, just around the house to get them stretched out to my foot size. They were a little bit narrow feeling. I would probably rate this heel something like um, like a 7 out of 10. And the boots, the boots I would give maybe like an 8.5 out of 10. Um, and I only give those marks because on these heels... I just want maybe a little bit of a wow factor, something maybe a metallic pop, either um, an accent on the stiletto heel tip or something cute uh, along the back of the shank there on the sole. So yeah, that's what I would rate them. A seven out of ten and an eight and a half out of ten you guys leave a comment down below let me know which pair you like the best and what you would rate them and thank you again for watching